Good morning, everybody. This is Santi. And one more for you. Here's what we have. This is the PLA Desert Wolf. PLA, of course, stands for People's Liberation Army. This is the artwork on the box. I like it again because this stands out. It's kind of like bright. I think it's really cool the way they do it. But this is the box here. Desert Wolf. Side art. The camera on his neck. All that kind of stuff he has. Here's the back. Different configurations that you can use. Right? It's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. But I mean, uh, it's like a, like a, the wrapping and stuff like that. But, but I like it. It's very cool. And this is some of the stuff he comes with. Ropes and knee pads, elbow pads. Um, a neck gaiter, radio and goggles and stuff. He has his weapon. As a matter of fact, he has two weapons. The sniper rifle and the automatic. Which is that one. His handgun. And this is the other side right there. What do we have? So this is... Whoops. I'm sorry. So this is the Chinese... People's Liberation Army Desert Wolf. And boom, there he is. I like it. It's really cool. Look, it has a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. You can see magazine pouch here for his weapon. I mean, for his rifle, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, more pouches on his belt. Little vest that goes over his flag jacket. His flag jacket right here. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, magazines for the handgun. Which I forgot where it is. Oh, maybe he doesn't have a handgun. I don't know. Yeah, there it is right in there. Ugh. Duh, Victor. You're an idiot. But... There's his handgun. You can see the side of it. All right. So he has this rifle, which is his sniper rifle. I can't get these doggone bipods to stay up. Um, not a big thing. I think ultimately I'll glue them so that can, they can stay in the up position. But that's all right. Um, anyway, so there's his sniper rifle, right? Wrapped up in the, uh, the camo, uh, wrapping that, it, that has around the scope and around his, his, uh, buttstock. I'm sorry. PLA, there's his rifle. He had, um, Knee pads, but I kind of broke them when I put them on. Uh, I put them on a little wrong. You know. But. Still. He's got his vest. He's got the neck protection. And he's got a gator to cover his face. Right? Um, knife there at the bottom. Excuse me, I'm sorry. And this cami, it's like a. Let me see if I can open it. It's like a netting here. You can use it also. Ugh. Let's see. Well, pretty cool, right? I like that. I like that all. And I just draped it on his pack. His Alice pack, well, this pack has a cami net here. It's got a cami netting here. So I just put it to the top. You know, to hold on to it. Um, and he's got like a... Like a mat. You know, you can lie down on this thing right here. It's all rolled up. And put it in there. I think that's pretty cool. Canteen. A little pouch to put some stuff in. Really neat guy. I like it. I like this a whole bunch. This, of course, is part of my um, 
Chinese troop collection. You know, uh, I think this is very good. This is also made by a company called Flag Set. Their stuff is pretty good. I don't know if I have a lot of their guys. Um, I might have a couple of flag set figures in there. The two Chinese ones, this one and the other one that I that I just did yesterday. Um, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe a couple of other ones in there. I'm not sure. But, this is him. This is him. I think it looks pretty cool. His face looks all right. If I take off the glasses... You might say he looks Chinese. <laughs> but I think they did a good job putting it together and building it up, you know? Um, a little watch there. You know? The, the webbing wrap around his rifle. Um, patches and all. You know? I do like this one. I do like this one. It's very good. Of course, so far, I think that my favorites are the Vietnam figures. Um, these guys are pretty good also. You know? So, there you have it, folks. We have People's Liberation Army. Desert Wolf. Okay? Um... That's it for now. We'll try to do one on the other figure that I have. The other last Chinese one. Chinese soldier. Chinese airborne marines they call them. Um, but I'll try to do a breakdown on him too. Alright everybody. This is Santi. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Um, we'll do more. I'm going to finish the diorama. I know the other video I said I was going to do the diorama. Right? Um, I haven't finished it yet. I got it painted and put together. I'm just going to show you a little preamble there. But there's more stuff I got to put in it. I got to put a light. Um, I got some branches from the street to throw on it. Some branches from the, the street. You know, from trees that are hanging around. And, and some um, little pieces of wood to, to throw on there. Sorry about that. I gave you a picture of the pillows, didn't I? To throw on there. Um... So, all I got to do is, I guess, put some wood around it. Maybe add some brush, um, some moss, some grass and stuff around it. And put some sand. We'll see how it goes. But, once again, I hope you like them. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe so we'll make more. Right? More people subscribe, maybe I'll be able to buy more. These guys are, you know, they're a bit... All right, folks, this is Santi, and I'm out.